Sketch the graph of the given function, then state the domain and range. Well, looking at this function, this is what we call a piecewise function, where you're actually doing three smaller graphs. And you can see where we are defined. We will be graphing x plus 2 when x's are less than a negative 1. Well, I'm going to call these three pieces a, b, and c. So for part a, let's just look at a quick t-chart. We know that x plus 2 is a line, but where are we defined? Well, x's are less than negative 1, so, and they're equal to, so we can include negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. A negative 1 plus 2 is 1, a negative 2 plus 2 is 0, a negative 3 plus 2 is a negative 1, and you can see our pattern. So if I were to graph this, negative 3, there's negative 1, negative 3, negative 1 is about here, negative 2, 0 is about there, and negative 1, 1. And what's important to note is I'm going to make a closed circle because we are including negative 1. So there's the first part of my graph. Well, let's look at part B here. We're looking at x cubed if x's are between negative 1 and less than or equal to 1. Well, again, I'm going to create a quick t-chart. And I might start by putting in negative 1, 0, and 1. Well, at negative 1 cubed is negative 1. 0 cubed is 0, 1 cubed is 1. If I were to plot those points, negative 1, negative 1. Now it's not equal to a negative 1, so I have to do an open circle at that point. 0, 0, and 1, 1, and it's less than or equal to 1, so I can actually close that. Well, this may look like a line. But x cubed, I know it doesn't look exactly like the line, so let's look at maybe two more points. I'll put in 1 half and negative 1 half. 1 half cubed is 1 eighth. Negative 1 half cubed is a negative 1 eighth. So we're at negative a half, negative an eighth is about there. And positive a half, positive an eighth is about there. And knowing what a cubic looks like kind of makes a little squiggly, elongated S. All right, well, now I just have part C to graph. And I'm looking at the absolute value of X if X's are greater than or equal to 1. While absolute value means everything positive, and x is greater than to 1 are all positive, so 1, the absolute value is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and I could go on. So graphing that, 1, 1, that happens to be the same point as before, which is good because it's closed on that point, 2, 2, 3, 3 is about there, and I could continue on. Again, it looks like a line. Now for the domain and range. Well, the domain is all of the x values, and it actually is defined at every single x value. We might want to look at this point, but we can see it really is defined there. And continuing on, so I think our domain is all reals. And our range, well, it goes from negative infinity down here, and it's always defined. So again, our range is all reals. And that would be the domain and range of this piecewise function.